Okay, so I am going to show you how to use the clipping layer <coughs> effect. Uh, as you can see, I've already got an old drawing open with the base colors already. So basically, it, now instead of coloring directly on your base color, which you can do by just locking the layer by preserving opacity, which I have a thing over here in case you can't see it, by clicking this, the preserve opacity, you will lock the layer, which you'll see the little blue lock down there, and then you can color on top of your base without going outside your lines. Now, if you don't want to color on top of your base color, say you, you do all the shading and then you mess up and you don't have enough undos and it ruins your base color, so you want to go to, you want to make a new layer first above your base color and then click clipping group, which it'll have this little pink line here, means it's clipped to your base color, which is BC yellow, my base color yellow for B here. What that does now is you can color on top of your base color without going outside the line still, but you, if say you don't want it, you can just um, erase it. And so you can't do that. You can't just erase the whole layer if you draw on top of your, your base color. So you click erase, you erase the entire color, all of it. So if you don't want that, you just do a clipping layer and you basically are coloring over your base color but you don't have to make a whole new layer, fill it all in because it's already filled in. So let's try to be a little more... I'll show you an effect that I personally like to use with this because you can do quite a bit with it. I'm just going to be sloppy. Um, you you can also lock a clipped layer, so you, like this, with preserve opacity by locking it. You can both have it clipped and locked. Just make sure if you have the pink bar here, it'll clip to whatever is below it. So say now you have it locked, you can do something like this. You'll only color on what's on the clipped layer. So that's, that's, a, good, that's a good technique. Um, something I like to do for it would be this. Um, you, you really wouldn't have to do this because uh, use the eraser tool and lower the density of it so it doesn't immediately take everything away and then it's, it makes it like an airbrush type thing so you're not, you're not adding more color, you're removing your cropped layer like this. And you get a much more softer effect here. And then you can get that by, oops, sorry, by playing with these here, these four little thingies. Uh, the square is hard, and the, the more down you go, the softer it gets. So um, just play around, whoops, I get up the density there. So you can just play around with that to do whatever you want. I'll either use this effect, the erasing, to get the softer look or I'll just do the airbrush and say I want the extended look like this but um, you can also say you don't want the airbrush effect on like over here then you gotta select what you do want and then just airbrush it and then you don't have to worry about airbrushing any of this so that's <clears throat> pretty much it for it using the cropping, no I'm sorry, not cropping, the clipping. It's called clipping group in Paint Tool Side, but I think it's just called grouping in Photoshop. I don't really use Photoshop. But you can also, you can keep making clipped layers as many as you want over and over again. See, I should use the airbrush. But it'll always, it'll always clip to the base color not your um, the shading so you'll just continuously have clipped layers to your base color but if you want to work solely on the the clipped layer you have to lock it
and all that is on your toolbar right here right here that you just work on so to lock a layer it's preserve opacity to clip layers it's clipping group and you can have these both on at the same time um, to make a new layer it's this obviously to use the line art tool it's this if you want to erase everything on a layer everything on a layer you use this and that's pretty much it it's really fairly simple I suppose um, if anybody else is watching that doesn't know how to actually use layers I'm hoping that if you are watching at this point you know how to use layers I mean it's fairly easy um, it's, I guess it's just more of where the buttons are if you've never used Psy before. So I hope that helped.